Praise be Jesus Christ. Those of you who are part of my school of reading read with me last month, St. Teresa of Avila's Interior Castle. Now, I want to give an oversimplified way of seeing what is going on in each one of these seven mansions that St. Teresa of Avila describes, these seven stages in the spiritual life. She describes the soul as a castle, a beautiful castle. At the center is our Lord Jesus. And when we get to the center, the last stage, which she calls the seventh mansion, we re reach the place of transforming union with the Lord Jesus. So let me d just describe to you these seven mansions and what kind of TV you're probably watching. Again, I'm generalizing. There are some people, they're not at all into God. They might be living very wretched lives, but they still might have enough sense not to watch garbage on TV. So over oversimplification, but here we go. She says many people are still not even in the castle yet. They haven't entered into the interior castle of the soul. They're in outer darkness. They're still blind to the things of God. They don't hear God's voice at all. They're lost. They're where the venomous creatures are, she says. In this stage, you're probably watching everything on TV, all the garbage. You don't even realize, perhaps, that this stuff is not good for your soul. In the first mansion, so you've entered into the castle, the outer courts of the castle, you're still quite a worldly person, but you're becoming aware of your own identity and dignity and destiny and aware of the reality of God. And now you're realizing that, wait a minute, some of what I'm watching on TV, I don't think it's good for me. And you're beginning to, to withdraw but still very much watching a lot of stuff you shouldn't be watching. Now in the second mansion, this is when you're starting to hear God's voice. Not very clearly yet, but you are now quite aware that the Lord is drawing you and calling you to holiness. And you're realizing now more clearly that there's stuff that you need to stop watching on TV because it's bad for your soul. And St. Teresa of Avila says in this mansion, the second mansion, she says, the clash of arms and the noise of cannon are so loud that the soul cannot help hearing them. For here the devils once more show the soul these vipers, that is the things of the world. So in the second mansion, it's, it's a place of battle where you're beginning to want to let go of things that are bad for you and the devil doesn't want you to let go. And so it's, it's, it's a pretty intense uh, place to be. Now, the third mansion is now you're actually living the spiritual life. You're living the Christian life quite, quite well. And so in this stage, you've done away with the garbage on TV, most of it anyway. And there is a certain peace because you fought those battles in the second mansion. Now in the fourth mansion, you're, you're kind of holy. People who know you would say, yeah, this person doesn't just kind of live a Christian life, but has a certain holiness. And so in the fourth mansion, you're not watching really any garbage on TV. Now, in every one of the mansions, you have your slips and falls. You still sometimes go back and like St. Teresa of Avila says, you get bit, bit by one of these venomous creatures. But in the fourth mansion, you've come to a place and even through now the habit that you've, you've become virtuous enough that you, you just don't watch bad stuff on TV anymore. Now, the fifth mansion is when the supernatural stuff really starts to happen in your life. And you're now so caught up in the things of God that you're not watching a lot of TV. The sixth mansion is another place of tremendous battle, tremendous warfare, oftentimes suffering. Again, you're at this point, you're, you're, you're really holy. 
your soul is very sensitive to God in the seventh mansion. Well, you're a saint, and so you're, you're, you you guard your heart with, with, with great care. Okay, here's a little scripture for you. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3, St. Paul says, For this is the will of God, your holiness. Viva Cristo Rey. 